another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well so in this video we're gonna solve the problem find the minimum and rotated sorted array so let's get started first what do we mean by rotated sorted array rotated sorted array is when you grab a sorted array and rotated it at some pivot and known to your beforehand for example here we shift zero to be at index four but if we go from zero to the right we still have a sorted number to the right so we need to like wrap around and the question is we need to find the minimum in a rotated sorted array the brute force approach to solve this problem is by iterating throughout the array and finding the smallest number but if in the coding interview they ask us to find a solution that have a time complexity of all flow n, it's gonna fail because it is a linear time complexity so we're gonna use a binary search algorithm to find the minimum element but the question is to implement binary search the array must be sorted and here the array is a rotated sorted array so let me show you how we're gonna do it first we check if the array is a sorted array means an rotated sorted array the first value is always less than the last value so we return the first value then if we have a rotated sorted array the first value is always greater than the last value it's like we have a two sorted array inside one array means at first if we sorted this array and shift the smallest one to be at whatever index and sort the right of this number and ascend in order the right of this number gonna be always less than the left so how do we gonna find the minimum in a rotated sorted array the first thing we're gonna do is we we'll look for an inflection point and as we know that in a normal sorted array all the numbers at left smaller than the numbers at right and the inflection point happen when the left number is larger or the number to the right is smaller then the number to the right is the minimum that means we are at the minimum so we're gonna implement binary search algorithm we initialize a left and right point we check if the middle is at inflection point means if the number at left is bigger we are at the minimum or if the right of the middle is smaller the number to the right is the minimum but what if the middle was not an inflection point let's see in those examples first we initialize two pointer left and right then we calculate the middle then we check if the left of the middle is smaller than the middle number if true we move the left to be the middle number otherwise if the middle is less than the left we move Move the right to be the middle and we'll repeat the process until we have the minimum so let's jump as code in the solution first we check if only we have one number in the array we return it then we initialize a left and right pointer and we check if the array is not a rotated sorted array means if the left is smaller than the right value we return the left value Then while the left is smaller than the right, we calculate the middle. Then for the readability, we initialize four variables. First one is the left number, then the middle number, and the left middle of the number, and the right of the middle number. Then we set another condition if the middle number is greater than the right number of the middle we return the right of the middle otherwise if the middle number is less than the left number of the middle we return the middle number then we set another condition if the middle number is bigger than the number at the left we move the left pointer to be the middle plus one else if the middle is less than the number at the left we move the right pointer to the middle minus one So this solution has a time complexity of O of log n because we perform a binary search algorithm with a little bit modification. And for the space complexity is O of 1 because there is no extra space memory used. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.